Hello FMGs, friends and doctors. Welcome to Killstar. Now we are going to start the revision for dermatology. This is Dr. Araraj and we are going to discuss derma with most of the images that are required for this FMG exam. Derma usually has five to seven questions and most of them are images only. With this, let's try to start. And this is my Telegram channel where I keep posting about 50 questions a day, important questions and also images. So if you have time, just join the channel and also keep solving MCQs. Thank you. Since school days, we all have studied about epidermis, dermis and hypodermis. For our FMG exam, it is very important to know about the epidermis. They are going to be stratum basal, stratum spinosum, stratum granulosum, lucidum and corneum. They come with a simple mnemonic. Boys say, remember the mnemonic? Boys say girls like mm, cake good come to the mnemonic boys say girls like cake so boys b is for basil s is for spinosum g is for granulosum l is for lucidum and c is for corneum remember the lucidum here is absent in the palms and foot Good. So what is the first image here? This is going to be albinism. Yes, these are very little or there is no melanin. Please remember albinism, no melanin. Yes. Here, the, including the eyebrows, remember eyelashes and the eyes, they are all white in color. In case of vitiligo, remember it is an acquired condition and no melanocytes. This is due to no melanocyte. They are also further classified into segmental Vitiligo. These are called as segmental vitiligo. Yes, and this condition having whitish four lots of hairs. This is called as theobaldism. This is called as theobaldism. Okay. This image right over here. This is called as Mongolian spot. This is called as Mongolian spot, and these are actually bluish gray in color, and they are usually flat. They are flat, and they disappear on their own. Very important. This image right over here, this is called as Bickers Nevers and this is going to actually be seen on one shoulder on the upper trunk. This image right over here, this is called as Nevers Orta, this is called as Nevers Orta and remember O, o for ophthalmology, O for ophthalmology, yes. <coughs> this is due to the hyperpigmentation around the uh, orbital region and having trigeminal nerve involvement, trigeminal nerve involvement. This is called as hand foot mouth disease. Hand foot mouth disease that is going to be uh, due to Coxsackie virus. This is due to Coxsackie virus. You will see during your practice that cases are going to be appearing from uh, hand foot mouth disease as well. This is contagious and it's mostly seen in young children. Yes. Good. So look at this image here. Hand, foot, and mouths are involved. That is why it's called as hand foot mouth disease. Good. Now this image right over here, this is called as erysipelas, yes. The important organism causing it is called the streptococcus species. Streptococcus species, it is going to have edematous, erythematous plague. Let's repeat, edematous, erythematous plagues. Good. And this image right over here, this is going to be called as chicken pox. Yes, this is caused due to varicella zoster and they have dew drop on rose petal appearance. Dew drop on rose petal appearance is seen in Chicken pox caused by varizella zoster. Okay. Psoriasis. Psoriasis is very, very important. It does itchy rash, scaly, and dry patches. Let's repeat itchy rash, scaly, and dry patches. They have silvery white patches. Yes. What are the types of psoriasis? We have plague psoriasis, gutted psoriasis, pustula, scalp, nail, and then psoriatic erythroderma. Now remember, this pustula psoriasis is due to withdrawal of steroids. This is due to Withdrawal of steroids, yes. Withdrawal of steroids. Withdrawal of steroids, yes. And nail in nail in male psoriasis, you will see a condition called as pitting. Yes, and you will see oil drop sign here. Oil drop sign, yes. Good. Other important points you're going to remember on psoriasis will be hospital sign, yes. Look at the image right over here. If you take the slide and keep scratching it, you will see pinpoint bleeding, and that sign is called as what? Hospit sign. So it is very important to remember hospit sign, and that is very important phenomenon which is called as openness phenomenon. Yes. So please remember hospit sign, it is very, very important for 
psoriasis. This condition right over here is called as sporotrichosis. This is called as sporotrichosis. Yes, this is due to thorn prick, rose thorn prick on the farmers, basically on farmers. Yes. You see, this can also lead to ulcerative lesion. Very important. Most importantly, it causes lymph adenitis. It causes lymph adenitis. KOH amount is going to be cigar shaped body. On KOH amount, you will see cigar shaped body. This condition right over here, this is called as chromoblastomycosis. The most important organism causing this is going to be Fonsaceae pedrosoi. Fonsaceae pedrosoi. You will see very important structures like this, which is called as sclerotic body. This is called as sclerotic body. Yes. Also called as copper lenny bodies. Copper, copper lenny bodies. So please remember these two bodies. And they have cauliflower like nodules. They have cauliflower like nodules. Good. So please remember gromoplastomycosis has been asked multiple times in the FMGE exam, in the FMGE exam. Good. Discussing about lichen plants, you have to remember five P's. Number one is going to be purple, polyclonal, plana, papules and plagues. Let's repeat once again. Purple, polyclonal, plana, papules and plagues. Good. Look at this. All these are important signs of lichen plants. And they also, the nail this is also wing shape. Winging shape. The nail is also seen in lichen plants. Uh, and this can also be seen in pterygium. Nail like a planus is classically also seen pterygium. Okay. And most importantly, also please remember civet bodies. Civet bodies is seen in lichen planus. Sturge Weber syndrome. Here remember, we are going to see a very important stain which is called as port wine stain. Port wine stain. Yes. Most importantly, you know, by port wine stain, it is due to first and second division of the trigeminal nerve. First and second division of the trigeminal nerve. The patient may also have ipsilateral, ipsilateral leptomeningeal angioma, ipsilateral leptomeningeal angioma, and also please remember glaucoma. At least if you can remember these three points, it is going to be very, very useful for you. This, the image which we are seeing at right over here, this is called, called as benign periorbital tumor. Benign periorbital tumor. Good. This image right over here. Having butterfly rash, this is called as systemic lupus erythematous. The word itself says it involves other systems. This is going to be the heart problems. You'll, the patient can also see lupus nephritis and also arthritis. So please remember these are the other important points which you are going to remember for SLE and also remember Reynolds phenomenon. These are the other important points which you are going to remember for SLE along with butterfly rash, or it is also called as malar rash. It's also called as malar rash. Look at the image here. This image right over here, that is peeling of skin. And remember, especially it is going to be seen in the larger portion of the body. This is due to Staphylococcus. This is itself is called as Staphylococcus scarlet skin syndrome. Staphylococcal scarlet skin syndrome. It is also called as Reiter's disease. Also called as Reiter's disease. Please remember. This one is actually a rare condition, but it can be life threatening. This is called as TEN. Toxic epidermal necrosis. Toxic epidermal necrosis, usually caused by medications. This important image right over here. This is called as fixed drug eruption. Fixed drug eruption is due to delayed type four hypersensitivity. Actually, what happens is that recurrence is going to be at the same site, especially when the patient takes the same drug. So recurs at the same site on retaking the drug. Yes, this is called as fixed drug eruption. Look at this image right over here. This is going to be called as impetigo. Impetigo, yes. This is what is this? Molluscum contagiosum. Molluscum contagiosum having umbilicated umbilication is seen in the middle. Good. This one right over here, this is called as melanoma. This is called as melanoma. This one right over here, this condition is called as trichotillomania, where the patient tries to pluck his or wound hair. This moth eaten structure, like this, is called as alopecia. Alopecia, and this is going to be called as erythrasma. That is called as erythrasma. Sorry, I'm having a bit of fever, so my voice might be a little bit low because I'm having a fever. Look at the histopathological image right over here. This is called as squamous cell carcinoma. This image is called the squamous cell carcinoma. 
Usually what happens, for example, you ask you questions like a farmer is having religions in the shoulder. If they show, you will see a carrot in debris, right, over all religion. It means this will be squamous and carcinoma. Yes. This image right over here, this is going to be called as condyloma accumulata. Condyloma accumulata. And this is the image of lymphogranuloma velarium. Lymphogranuloma velarium. Please remember the treatment for condyloma accumulata is going to be cryotherapy. Cryotherapy. Yes. And this image right over here, this is going to be called as borderline leprosy. These are called as borderline leprosy. There are multiple lesions on the back on of the thorax. The nerve involved is going to be called as ulnar nerve thickening. Ulnar nerve thickening is in borderline leprosy. And this image right over here, it is called as lepromatous leprosy, also called as leonifacy. Leonifacy. Look at the image here. Which nail finding characteristics for psoriasis is as given in the image below? Hospital sign, oil drop sign, onycholysis, or is it subundal characteristics? The answer is going to be if you see skin cells under the nail bed then it is going to be subuncle keratosis it is going to be subuncle keratosis identify the instrument this instrument right over here what is this phenoshate knife double cutting razor humphy's knife single cutting razor i think most of you should know this answer this is going to be humphy's knife for thick skin please remember at the lumbar and gluteal regions are preferred for thin skins thighs and arms are usually preferred what year old female pain in fingernail on examination nail fold is seen with pus most likely diagnosis is it yellow nail syndrome psoriasis alopecia areata or peronychia look at this you can see pus right over here this is going to be peronychia and this could be due to uh, trauma or infection so this is called as peronychia look at the lesion right over here the examiner already showed told it is a penile lesion option a is it genital what pearly penile papule balanitis or sebaceous gland prominence remember this is due to hpv infection can also lead to cauliflower like growths so the answer for this this is going to be pearly penile papule pearly penile papule so with this we conclude all the important topics from derma i think from these sessions images are going to be focused on derma and I hope that you will get at least 3 to 5 marks from the sessions right now. Wish you guys all the best. Keep studying well and see you guys at the next video. Sorry my voice is a little low because I have fever but I am improving. I will come up with some more quality videos in the upcoming months. See you guys. Love you always. Thank you so much. Dr. Anuraj signing off.